right, so disassemble the rifle. We've still got the uh, rifle um, uh, in a safe position. Uh, safety is off, however, but we're going to go ahead and release the bolt. We're going to bring the bolt all the way to the back of the, uh, of the rifle. And uh, this right here is what they call the bolt hold, and it has, uh, or, or I'm sorry, actually it's referred to as the bolt stop. And the bolt stop is going to be spring actuated, so we're going to ahead, go ahead and release this to the back, or to the side, pull it out to the side. And then this bolt will just slide right out on its own. We'll set the bolt aside, and we'll go ahead and talk about that later. Um, now you can see that we have the follower for the magazines right here. Um, it is spring-loaded, as you can tell. Uh, we have some insignia markings right here on the receiver. We also have the, um, the stock iron sights that came with the rifle. And these are going to be good to up to what they call 2,000 meters. So um, I'm not sure if the rifle is accurate to that amount, but uh, it is actuated by a, uh, basically a push, um, kind of what they call it, like, I guess a push spring that locks in on each um, portion essentially. Okay, so the next step to our uh, disassembly here of the uh, actual barrel and receiver is going to be to remove the um, front and rear band uh, bands. That's what they call them, the barrel band. So if you got your front barrel band here, your rear barrel band here, uh, and for some of you Mauser guys or people who are familiar with uh, how these rifles assemble, you will notice that there's actually a um, what was supposed to be a barrel band spring that sits right in here and it uh, uses a kind of a compression method to uh, work as a spring. It's a long, lengthy piece of metal. And when I purchased the rifle, it did actually come with one. However, through range fires and whatnot, it eventually uh, failed and uh, broke into like, uh, you know, five pieces at once kind of deal. But what I did is I found one supposedly from Springfield Sporters Inc. And that's hopefully what this is. That's what I think this is. Um, I have purchased one before, and it was a blind buy online, and uh, it was not the correct part. Um, if you ever do need to buy any parts for this rifle, remember to tell them that it is going to be the uh, what they call the Nazi 98K. And the other barrel band spring I bought, which was incorrect, was what they call for the standard Mauser. And it's not a standard Mauser. This is actually the German Nazi, you know, World War II, real deal kind of rifle. So that is important when you talk about ordering pieces that are, especially these metal, these intricate metal, metal fittings that go in places like this. Um, and this, this piece is actually going to be a milled piece. And I believe you can only buy them milled. I've never seen them stamped. So that's what we're going to hopefully open up and find in that package later. So anyway, let's go ahead and remove these uh, barrel band, uh, let's see, front barrel band. Uh, after you remove this uh, spring, which it's already gone, so we don't have to worry about that. But first we go ahead and uh, basically remove that. Um, and actually, you know, I can't remember if you have to take that out in order to get this front uh, barrel band off or not. Uh, there is one other step we skipped as well, which would be the removal of the cleaning rod, which as I've said before, I do not have one. But uh, band spring out of the way, let's go ahead and push on this front barrel band. And it's pretty easy. It'll slide right off and uh, up over the uh, end of the barrel. Followed by the rear barrel band. It should come right off. And now you can remove this uh, upper handguard, which uh, it's actually doesn't even look like it's the same wood color. Uh, it may have been taken from another rifle. I'm not positive, but it will not be the same color after this anyway. So let's go ahead and move on down to the receiver itself. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, bottom end of the receiver, and there's uh, really one direction we're going here, but there's a couple different ways we can uh, get there. Um, basically, what we have here is the uh, what they call the floor plate of the magazine. Um, there is a small pin in here that is spring-loaded, and if you push in or depress that pin, uh, the idea is that you can, while depressing the pin, you can slide this uh, magazine floor plate back and the whole assembly will just pop out at you. Now I've tried it a few times with different tools and I have not been successful. However, it's not required for disassembly of the receiver anyway. So let's just go ahead and skip that and go on to uh, the real important part which is actually getting these takedown uh, screws out of the receiver. So there's going to be a front and a rear takedown uh, screw or stud. 
And uh, right in front of this front uh, takedown screw, there's actually going to be a, a little pinhole, and that is for what they call locking pins. And this uh, rifle did not come equipped with them. Uh, you can find them online at most parts, uh, surplus parts stores for Mausers and these kind of rifles. You can find them online for uh, pretty cheap. Um, it's not a required thing for um, actually using the rifle, however. It would just lock these screws so that they don't loosen up over time. Um, as I said though, I don't have them, I've never used them, and I've never had any problems without them. So let's go ahead and take down these, uh, these screws. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the front one. Uh, take a flathead screwdriver. Loosen these up. All right, we're taking off the uh, rear um, takedown screw now on this receiver, and as you uh, as you take down, well, okay, it all kind of just came apart on me. But the idea behind that was uh, you want to kind of hold the receiver in the bottom portion of the receiver into the barrel, so that what just happened doesn't happen. But that's okay. The screw comes off, and this whole thing kind of ejects at you because it is under spring load a little bit uh, with that. Um, spring uh, follower on the magazine. So this is uh, the lower portion of the receiver and it is what encompasses the um, magazine itself with the floor plate, with the spring, with the follower, with the trigger guard. So we'll go ahead and set that up here. Flip this around and now this barrel and the rear portion of the uh, uh, receiver is basically free to come out. I'm going to go ahead and pan out as much as I can here. And uh, this should just lift right on out of here. I'm going to use the front sight to support. There it is. So now we have the entire barrel and uh, receiver assembly out of the rifle. The wood piece we're just going to set up here for now. We'll work on it later. Okay, so uh, this is the barrel assembly and the uh, upper portion of the receiver with the trigger assembly still intact. We're not going to go any further into uh, disassembly uh, from this point with the barrel and receiver. Um, we can get everything done that we need to as far as cleaning just the way it is here. Um, this uh, barrel is pretty uh, caked with uh, cosmoline. Um, this receiver has a lot of uh, residue on it so we're going to get this all real nice and cleaned up.